everybody, it's Nikki, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you the world's best chicken cacciatore recipe. So if you're wondering how I know this is the greatest chicken cacciatore recipe, it's because this is my mom's recipe, and she was the best cook around. She made her chicken cacciatore on the stovetop, and we're going to make ours in the crock pot. For more details and the full chicken cacciatore recipe, please see the information bar down below. So the first thing you're going to need is about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And you're going to want to salt and pepper them really, really well before you put them in your crock pot. I also like to use garlic powder and Mrs. Dash. Then we're going to slice up two green peppers, two red peppers, a medium onion, and three green zucchinis. So as you get everything all sliced up, you're just going to put it in your crock pot on top of your seasoned chicken. Then crush three large garlic cloves. So this is what your crock pot looks like with all your chopped up vegetables. And now we're gonna mix our spaghetti sauce to go in. So to mix your spaghetti sauce, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a large bowl, or you can just go and buy um, jarred spaghetti sauce at the grocery store. But since this is my mom's recipe, she always made everything from scratch, and that's usually how I do it too. So you're going to need a 20 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, a six ounce can of tomato paste, now these are optional, but I really love to use um, roasted red peppers. They really give your sauce a great flavor. So you're going to want to get the ones that are packed in olive oil and just put a few in there. You know, all of this really is to taste because everybody, you know, likes different things in their spaghetti sauce. So this is just how I do it. I add about a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon, of dried parsley, a teaspoon of basil, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of red crushed pepper, and this could really be to taste. And I always put a little bit of sugar in any tomato sauce that I make. I think it adds a sweetness to it and cuts the bitterness. And this could be to taste. You can use a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon, whatever you like. We usually go with a tablespoon. And a half a cup of white or rosé wine. I have rosé here. And then you're going to mix it all up. So once your sauce is all mixed up, you're just gonna pour it on top of everything in your crock pot. And then just mix it up with your vegetables so at this point, it's all ready for your crock pot. You could even prep this the night before and put it in your crock pot the next day, or you can put all these ingredients in a big Ziploc bag and freeze it for another time. I like to cook mine for four hours on high, but you can also cook it between six and eight hours on low. So it's been a little bit over four hours and I've turned my crock pot over to warm. So I'm gonna leave the lid off for now while I cook my pasta, cause this will allow the um, sauce to thicken up a little bit. So the pasta that I like to make um, with my chicken cacciatore is gemelli, which is like a little twisted pasta. It's really good. Um, it holds the sauce really well and it stands up to all like the veggies and everything that is in the sauce. So I have my water starting to boil. I'm going to um, make my pasta and then I will plate it up and let you see what it looks like when it's all done. And this is how it looks when it's all done. This is my mom's chicken cacciatore recipe. For all the details, look in the information box down below. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today in my kitchen. If you would like to see more recipes like this, please give this video a thumbs up. And while you're there, please subscribe and leave me a comment down below with any kind of recipe suggestions or video ideas you may have. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye. I wanted to pop on at the end of this video to give you all a huge thank you. I wanted to thank all 
my subscribers who had sent good thoughts and prayers to me and my family while my dad was ill. Sadly, my dad passed away on May 11th, but it gave me great comfort to know that so many of you were praying for me. One of the greatest things from this YouTube experience is connecting with so many of you in the community. So I wanted you all to know how much I appreciated all your good thoughts and prayers during this most difficult time. So as I say at the end of all my videos, and I really do think it's one of the most important things, is to love the life that you have, and I will see you all again soon. Thanks again. Bye.